Remember this? Eight years ago, the PS Vita launched, and although it didn't take the handheld market by storm and sell as many as a Nintendo 3DS or the Nintendo Switch, the Vita still sold over 4 million copies in its first year. The Vita is still a console that stands up as one well worth owning for various PS exclusive games, and the system holds its value at around $100 for anything decent. So, once you've been bitten by the nostalgia bug, what do you need to get next? Well, I'm going to run you through my top five accessories you need for your PS Vita. Hello and welcome to Console Accessories. And as I said in the introduction, here it is, the PS Vita. Have you got one? You still using it? I know I still do. A couple of games here that I still play all the time, really. Fairs and Uncharted. Still play them, it's a bit of spelunky, yeah, why not? Good. So I'm gonna quickly run through top five accessories that you're gonna need that if you've got one already or if you're planning on picking one up, I think these accessories are absolutely worth it. So for starters, this isn't on the list, but I've got an OG PS Vita, so it's got one of these, one of these proprietary slots on there. And it's not the USB-C one, so you need a cable for it. Now, I looked on Amazon and there were loads of people saying you need the correct cable you need the correct cable and you need to have certain voltage and stuff yeah I bought this for three quid and it's fine and it works absolutely fine so I'm going to be using this all the way through so right let's jump into number one and uh, the first one for me is this the first thing you kind of think of when you when you're picking up a console certainly a handheld is you're going to get a case aren't you now this is the case that I've picked up look at this Four quid this cost me. Second hand, it was from a shop called CEX in the UK. Um, four quid, and it's really good, really good. So look, you put that, it fits in like that. Look at that, look at that protection on that. Now I'm not 100%, but I think this might be bulletproof. Not sure, we'll see. Um, I will be testing that on later in another video. So, look at the protection on that. It sits in there beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> really good and then you've got some space up there for some memory cards and some games and stuff and a little flap to protect the screen which is nice and yeah clips up I'm really pleased with that really nice branding I mean yeah you're gonna oh, could... oh come on oh it's broken no it's fine it's fine so if you can get a case, if you can pick one of these up, it's, it's an Amazon jobby, I think. But I got it second hands from the second hand shop, so I'm not quite sure where you'd actually get them from. But this is a quality piece. Quality, really pleased with that. Yeah, good. Okay, so that's number one, the, the, the bulletproof case. We we'll love that. We'll put that over there. And then next up, what do we look at? When all the handhelds with the Switch and with the 3DS and things like that, I like to, they're, they're designed to be small and portable, aren't they? So for me, with my hands, look, my hand can go all around it. I look certainly for a, a grip. Now, here's one I picked up. It's from Z Labs. And the reason I picked it up was because it had really good reviews on the quality of it. And also I found out since I've had it, is it's got this really nice kind of locking mechanism here. Look, if I can show you that in here. So what you do is you, you push it out to unlock it and then this bit moves up and down, okay? And then you put your so you put your Vita in like that, and then what you do is you kind of push this bit up. So you kind of push the bit up so the lip goes over the top there. Again, if I whip over here, up there, so it locks. You see that? And then you lock it. Pull the set down to lock it, and it stays in. That ain't coming out. Nice big, really good quality, nice hard plastic, and it feels feels comfortable in the hand. Has big gap at the back there for the touchpad, your power buttons. Not for your, your game slots and your your, um, your memory cards and stuff like that. You can't get into them, but I guess it needs that for to be able to grip it. Your shoulder buttons and all your other buttons, and your headphone in there. Uh, you won't be able to charge it when it's on this. Other than that, Ooh, really good. And then speaking of charging, 
onto number three, and I think this is essential, whatever you've got. This is my Goody Kit battery pack. I've included this because I've, I've done another video and I will uh, link it up there, that I've used it when I used it the switch and I charged up the switch and the switch light over it. And now you'll get to charge the pith feeder up about three, or just over three times. And I think this is essential if you've got a PS Vita, a Switch, or you can use your phone or your iPad, I use this all the time. I picked this up to, to do a video for the Switch. I've ended up using it loads. So I use it essentially for the Switch because it has a nice little attached USB-C cable there. But you can also plug any USB in there and it charges up on that USB-C. So let's get my, let's get my three quid cable. And plug it in there and then plug it in there okay and then I kind of have to the lights come on but I seem to have to press that power button and then as you can see that lights come on there so if we just turn it on and then if I can if I can get close enough let's get that at an angle can you see that there the fuzzy green battery icon might be easy let's see if I can get it on here the fuzzy green battery icon that means it's charging. Okay, so when you're out and about and you're playing it and you need extra juice, you need one of these and then it also doubles up as a phone charger. This is essential. This is 10,000 mAh. It cost me 20 pounds. There's loads of different ones out there. Just pick the one that you think is gonna be for you, whether based on price, whether based on mAh, or it depends what you want. But this is the one that I've got and I'm thoroughly pleased with it. Okay, so that's one, two, and three. Now, number four is kind of like a pack, so I kind of got, I've got a few things in this one. So this costs, this cost me 10 pounds, less than 10 pounds. And what it contains is a car charger, leather case, slip case, card case, wrist, wrist strap, screen protector, and screen cloth. And this is the way it comes. It's an official thing, but it's coming in this box here. So let's get all the bits and bobs out, shall we? So first up, let's go this. Yeah, I've had a play around this. It's, it's okay, It's it looks nice, but I think that's it. It just looks nice. So the idea is this bit here, you kind of clip your Vita in so it doesn't fall out. There's like little clips here. So you clip your Vita in, but even so, even if it is clipped in like that, it doesn't particularly offer much protection around the sides at all. You're getting things in there. It, I mean, it looks nice and stylish, but I think that's about it. So we'll stick with the bulletproof case, I think, for that one. Now, it does come with another case. Now, I think this is serves a, a different purpose. I would definitely be using this one because it's just a slip case that you can put it in. So if ever I'm going out and I need to put it somewhere in my bag, maybe, that I can't fit the bulletproof case in. I just, it's nice, it's nice and thin, and easy, light, portable, slip into your bag easy. I'd probably use this. This is, has a purpose, this one. I don't think the, the, the leather flippy pouch thing has a purpose. I think this one does. Now, not only do you get that, you also get one of these, which, again, branded. Contain a load of games and some memory cards and stuff, yeah. Because this, this kind of was around when digital games started coming out. And I know, certainly for me, I've got a few cartridges for this. I, I've, I've got one for my Switch, but I've bought hundreds of games. So there's a lot of the eShop stuff. Whereas this, the PS Vita, I use um, some, some of it digital when they were doing um, PS Plus games and stuff, but a lot of cartridges, so that'll come in handy for that. And what else does it come with? Wrist strap. Fine. And then a screen protector. So whoosh, there we go, that way. So that just fits over the screen. Nothing for the rear, just the front. But that's nice to have, isn't it? And then a PS Vita branded microfiber cloth. And then finally, oh, it comes with it comes with instructions, all these massive instructions just for the car charger. Pages and pages of it, pages and pages of it, or whatever just for that. Now, if I, I think if you need instructions to work one of these, then I don't yeah. So it will work with my, my three pound cable and then when I'm in the car, in there, straight into the thing. If you don't want to use your 
If you don't want to use your battery up, just plug it straight into the car if you're in the car. So that kind of travel accessory is quite nice. So that's all in one. So that's all in one thing. So for less than 10 quid, I think that's ideal. Even if you are going to chuck away the, 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 the leather cap, the leather um, pouch thing, if you're going to, even if you're going to throw this away, you're going to keep this because this is nice. Good. Okay. That's one, two, three, and four. And then we've got the, the fifth one now is a generic thing, which is Bluetooth he headphones or earbuds. These are my AirPods and they work beautifully with this. It was simply a case of pressing the button on the back of there. And all you do is you go to the home screen and you find your settings, click on settings, continue, and then you go to devices and then Bluetooth devices and it will find there. So you activate your Bluetooth device. So if you activate this, it will flash. Let's try it. Let's get it going. And there we go. It's found my AirPods and I would click that and it would connect to that. Yes, that's fine. My AirPods. Thank you very much. There we go. And so I've got my AirPods. Now, obviously you don't have to have AirPods. You can have any Bluetooth headphones. This is the beauty of this Vita. It has built in Bluetooth. The switch doesn't have that and it's infuriating. So you have to use kind of all different sorts of things plugged into the bottom there or wired. Whereas the Vita, you saw how easy that was just to connect some Bluetooth devices and it will remember them it will remember the Bluetooth devices, so it's just a case of pinging it open and away you go. So, I hope you found this list useful. I think the pick of the bunch for me, I think the most useful is the battery pack because that can be used. I love the, I love the grip, I love my bulletproof case, I love the, the pack accessories, and I love the fact that it's got Bluetooth. So all in all, the, the Vita is a really good system. It's got some good stuff, especially, like I said, you can pick this up for about $100. You can probably get one in the UK now. I think you can get it around. 60 or 70 quid if the second hand and not bad condition i'm going to be pushing up a little bit more but i will say they're definitely worth looking into if you fancy a different handheld okay so are you going to be picking up any of these have you got a vita have you got an accessory that i've missed out that i want for my vita let me know if you've got one because i'm always on the hunt out for a nice accessory for my vita because i do i do love it and if you've got any questions please do leave them in below and leave us a thumbs up and, a, and, a, and if you're new here please do subscribe that would help the channel enormously okay right until the next video then bye bye